How about a nice cup of liberty for freedom? We're making hell divers drinks. Get ready to drop. So anybody who's been in the gaming industry at all lately and playing knows that this is a great year for games. We got Pal World, which is just putting the heat on Nintendo. Maybe they're finally gonna make a good Pokemon game. Helldivers 2 is absolutely destroying Call of Duty and I don't even know if they made a Battlefield last year. But it's a good time to be a gamer, that's the point. So let's make some drinks to celebrate the release of Helldivers 2. All right, so our first drink on the menu. Your character says it plenty of times, at least you're gonna hear it while you're playing. Everybody needs a nice cup of liberty. What tastes like liberty? Jaeger, Fireball, and a little bit of DC because we're avoiding the diabetes. So what we're gonna do here, this is, this is America, this is for freedom, this is for democracy. We're not pouring things out. Pour out a little bit of Fireball into your glass. Now we're gonna pour out our DC, all seven and a half ounces. And then we're gonna pour out a shot of Jaeger. And I think you guys know what's about to happen next. For democracy. That tastes like liberty. This is actually really good. Um, the fireball wasn't too much, probably because I poured you know, a little scrub amount in there, but uh, it was really good. It's more of a Jaeger Cola with a little bit of hint of cinnamon. It's fiery, it's delicious. It's gonna give you the power to spread freedom and democracy across the galaxy. Trust me, let's make another drink. All right. That first drink, we wanted to be quick. We're spreading freedom. We need to be quick, clear, concise. We gotta get the America's spirit out there. But these aliens aren't gonna stop unless we have a real drink. So let's make the freedom punch. You're gonna grab your island punch pucker. Get the name. A little bit of rum. White rum would be best. Next up, a lemon. Freedom flavored prime, which we all have mixed opinions, but it's freedom. This is for America. Next, some Pop Rocks to blow everything to bits. And for ribbing our glass, we're gonna need a little bit of corn syrup, so let's do this. So the first thing, like I just said, we're gonna need to rim this glass with Pop Rocks just to get that popping action, make this thing beautiful. So, corn syrup works better than anything else. You can use simple syrup, you could even use lemon juice, but I don't think there's anything stickier than corn syrup. Rim it like so, that should be good. Now we'll open up our Pop Rocks, pour those out. Pop Rocks are one of the weirdest candies. They're absolutely delicious, but I just never, ever want to eat them. Look at that rim, that, that looks beautiful. You're gonna want to grab your Bomb Pops, Freedom Pops, whatever you call them, grab them and put them in the glass. We're not using any ice in this. We're getting diabetes, we're using two popsicles. There's nothing more American than these popsicles, honestly, and diabetes, so. We're getting two for the price of one here. Toss those in the glass. Now's when it starts getting fun. Let's pour in an ounce and a half of rum, an ounce and a half of Island Punch Pucker. Let's squeeze in a little bit of fresh citrus. Now these are juicy limes, so when you do it at home, try and get about an ounce. I said limes, they lemons, you know what I meant though. Ah, oh, shoot, that's a squirter. To top this thing off, let's get a little bit of Freedom Prime. You wanna do about five to six ounces in here. Starting to get that popping action. That is a delicious looking drink. Whatever you say about Prime, trust me, this is good. Let's try our Freedom Punch. Give it a little stir here. That is so good. So I wanna say this is kinda of like a tangy version of a Rocket Pop soda. So if you've ever had, I mean, this Ice Pop Prime, I've actually never had on its own. It's not that good, but it's the most America looking can. Um, but they also make like Phase Pop is Delicious by Ghost, um, Blue Bomber Slushy. Those are all uh, Bomb Pop sodas. That's what this tastes like, except with like almost a tiki vibe to it or like a ocean rum vibe to it. A little bit like a Bomb Pop, an American Bomb Pop went on vacation and had a good time. That's what we got here and it's delicious, it's tasty. Great drink for summer, great drink for freedom. Let's keep it going. This next drink, I don't even have a name for. It's just called Democracy. You're gonna wanna grab your Everclear. I don't know why you'd have that already. Your 151, a little bit of triple sec, lime juice, and now this is where we're getting crazy, guys. Check this out. I have Dew SA. It's 2024, your boy has Dew SA. Now, I am a hoarder. I have tons of old flavors of Mountain Dew. 
I still got the deep dive in the fridge that I need to do something with, but I'm kind of afraid to because I'll never ever have it again. But essentially what we have here is a combination of code red, whiteout, and voltage. This was back when they had whiteout. Oh man, Mountain Dew, you screwed up taking that one away. Anyway, this expired back in July 2021, but it should still be sugary and taste like something, I would hope. Um, and obviously, if you can't get this at home, which you can't, just combine a little bit of Code Red, Voltage, and instead of white out, you're gonna use the white citrus monster. It's the same thing, just a little bit of energy. So just do equal parts of that and you're good to go. So let's make democracy. So I was kind of on the offense with my glassware choice today, uh, but I felt like nothing is more American than a mason jar. So that's what we're using. We're gonna go ahead and add in an ounce of 151, an ounce of Everclear, yes, an ounce, an ounce of triple sec. Whew, I can smell this one. It is, a, uh, it's strong. We're gonna grab our lime, and we're actually gonna use both halves today. We need a lot of citrus to cut down the sugar from the Mountain Dew and all that alcohol. And let's see how we're doing on that. I mean, we're better. Okay. <laughs> how is it even flipping like that? I'm counting it, and now I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Just kidding. Throw that lime juice in there. It smells like democracy, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like democracy just yet. All right, guys, let's top this off with a little bit of America. Honestly, it still tastes good. I've had expired soda before. This doesn't really taste like expired soda. There's just no, there's absolutely no carbonation. Do a say, do a say. We'll do about six ounces of that. Now we're gonna stir it with our knife. This is America, this is all you have on the combat field. Gives you a little bit of extra citrus flavor while we're at it. Cheers to democracy. Oh. That tastes like gasoline-fueled Mountain Dew. It's a strong one. I don't know if I have been becoming more of an alcoholic lately or what, but it doesn't taste bad, it just tastes strong without tasting like a lot of alcohol. I don't, so I don't know what that means for my health, but this is not a bad drink. I like it, democracy. All right, now I think this is actually the most creative drink of the series. We are doing Extraction Espresso. So what you're gonna wanna grab is your whiskey, a little bit of Fireball, which you already have from earlier, any hazelnut liqueur, and a freshly pulled shot of espresso. So what we're gonna do here is a little bit fancier. You've seen this trick if you watch my shorts. You're gonna pour out your shot of whiskey. So here's what we wanna do. <clears throat> we wanna put this glass into this glass upside down and boom. Now we'll add in about a shot of hazelnut liqueur, about a shot of fireball, your espresso. Now you could drink it just like that. Like I said, I don't really like espresso, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of heavy cream on top. Now I thought this would be a fun little plan where words. It's the extraction espresso, espresso extraction. Extract your shot of whiskey and boom, we have a very strong martini, espresso martini in a way. It's not shaking, but I mean, honestly, that's not bad. I don't love coffee and it's not bad at all. All right, so if I'm ranking these cocktails, we only got four, I'm gonna say the Bomb Pop has to be number one. You guys know I love sugar. I think it was super creative. I think it's energizing. I think it's delicious. It's just like a tropical Bomb Pop and I don't think there's much better flavors than that. We're gonna follow that one up with the Liberty. Like a little cup of Liberty is good for everyone. It was just two simple flavors, Fireball, Jaeger. You wouldn't think those would work, but they definitely did. The Diet Coke keeps it cool. It's honestly a better drink than you'd think. Like truly, we're gonna give the Bomb Pop four and a half stars out of five. This one, I'm gonna give four stars. That's a lot high. We're gonna give it three and a half stars. Then we're gonna add the espresso extraction, extraction espresso, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put this right at three, very average, nothing crazy. But if you like coffee, I think you might like it a little bit more than me. I highly recommend trying it. And then last but not least, we have this gasoline ridden democracy. It's gonna get you drunk. If you're stuck in the queues like everyone is for this game, you're gonna need something strong, a little bit of democracy, and you're gonna be set to go. So, cheers to Hell Divers, guys. I hope the game keeps the steam. I mean, 500,000 reoccurring players is almost unheard of for a game like that. So, it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good drink if you try any of these. See you guys in the next episode.